I'm Phil, founder of Monster. What is Monster, you ask? Monster's a whole new way to buy DIY. Let me show you. Okay, so we have been asked why Monster, and it was always my intention to talk to our customers and explain why, why we came to the beast that we have created. And basically, I could go through a number of things. Why we pay so much in terms of high price in the DIY, the lack of actual options and alternatives in the market, um, why things aren't fair out there. But the real positive piece of Monster and why we arrived at it was the fact that, that we've got this thing called the internet, we use it daily, and it has changed everything. Now we get the ability to actually be part of our customer journey from the start to the end. We are very honoured today to have Patrick Crosshow from Design Think with us, with the Monster team. So, welcome aboard Patrick. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Thank you. Uh, as you know, we're doing the white campaign for Monster and we, um, just to let you know a little bit about Patrick's business. So, Patrick's the director of Design Think. Been around in Adelaide, well known in Adelaide for a number of years as well with uh, some of the larger and more boutique firms in Sydney as well, but has set up a great business here in Adelaide. Um, Focus on money, commercial works yeah, yeah. and uh, retail, but also in that space, uh, white is such a big piece of it. So I'm sure we're going to learn a bit more about whites today with Patrick. I guess I try to go fairly neutral with, uh, with colour within things, um, uh, depending on the project. Retail is a little bit more out there. But um, so you try and go fairly neutral and bring your colour in your furnishings and your. And your things that you can change. We are very fortunate today to be with Lisa and Matt from Detail Studio, husband and wife business, but uh, that hence why I'm sitting in the middle. <laughs> but a lot of fun with these guys today. Um, they've run a successful business in Adelaide, both architects and Matt by trade as an interior designer. Lots of experience with both the big firms and the small firms, and we're going to talk about why. How, what should I say, how much of the influence of overseas uh, design methods have been uh, seen in Australia now? Look, I think with the way that social media and obviously the world is becoming one both in design and culture, uh, I think we're being influenced and yeah, getting a lot of experience not only from Europe and overseas and countries to Australia, but obviously um, our Australian style and culture and our architectural design sensibility is being seen um, outside of Australia as well and now we're greatly seen and being recognised um, for the creativity and the local talents. We developed the colour wash range where it's ready to use. There's no adding water, it gives you that effect and the Scandinavian effect which is becoming really, really popular in Australia at the moment but we're seeing it globally but particularly here it's very popular for use over timber, uh, brickwork, renders where you get that appearance where you can still see the base behind it, but you get that nice effect. So you could describe it maybe like a bit of a stain, um, but really, really popular at the moment and a multiple of colors that we've brought to the market. We've got eight in our range at this point in time. I'm gonna get a mark out of 10 at the end. Uh, but as you can see, there's all sorts of ways of doing this. You'll get that natural bubbling effect. 
I quite like this, especially if you've got a, a background that you really want to come through. And the grey works fantastic on white. And I'll just show before that test effect. So again, you'll see how those air bubbles are forming and they slowly go or dissipate, as the technical term is. So you just saw there what one coat of the colour wash looks like dry. Okay, I'm back at Alton at Rob and Sarah's extension or Reno and uh, thanks for joining us guys today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Since I was here a couple of weeks ago we've done a lot more Rob. Yeah, yeah it's going pretty cool. Fantastic. So, Tim and Margaret, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So I've got a couple of questions I've, I've written down here so I, I don't lose my form but um, what led you to paint the house? What was the decision behind it? Your, your house. Well, it hadn't been done for so long and it desperately needed a, a revamp. So, yeah, I decided that we had better do something. I heard that then, she decided. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I, I think what you've done is that you've built in that um, insurance factor that overcomes some of the anxiety that people might have in buying things like paint online. And, and that insurance factor is that you can talk to somebody. Yeah. There's somebody who coaches you through the process. I guess one of the things I was really, really scared about was measuring and getting the quantities really yep. wrong. But you that's, don't want to overspend. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, and you know you don't want to understand because you don't want to run out of paint halfway yeah, through walls job, yeah. or whatever. What you've done there is that there's that value add for the customer experience where that support is available to help people through their decision making process. So the instant transformation is the paint job? Huge. Yeah, huge. I mean you can take change some taps for example, you can um, change some light fittings, get rid of the, the daggy ones that hang down and, and shrink the headspace for example, put some LEDs up, yep. $14 a light for example. Not expensive, but the paint is a huge one at not a huge expense and I would invite someone to go and get some paint. If they're capable and they've got the time, do it yourself. If you don't have the time, and to try a few things out, yeah. put some walls up or put some tones up, see which one looks best. You're not going to go too wrong with a shade of white. Because I am with DIY royalty, Shane Conlon. <laughs> DIY for Nutley. Shane, thanks for joining me, man. Pleasure, well, mate. thanks for having me up here in Absolutely the pleasure. Knuckleheads. Is this the Knuckleheads cave? Or it the is, mate. Workshop? It is. It is. We've got two sealers in our range. One is our naked textile sealer, textile and fabric sealer, and the other one is our naked timber and concrete sealer. So want to start paying a fair price for your DIY? Get onto monstershop.com. We've got your back.